Yes, but first, we got to talk about our uh, non NYCFC sketch debut. <laughs> right, right, right. right? Well, we, yeah, we haven't done anything else with any other uh, any other club. This is the first time, right? right? As far as a, uh, a comedy sketch, which some people did not find funny. You know what? The word comedy, we should maybe put in quotes, <laughs> as a lot of people did in my replies. So this is. Um, uh, so if you haven't seen it. Uh, you can go. You can go to our Instagram at Soccer Cool. Uh, cool it's against, wacky, everybody. Or the Philadelphia <laughs> Union uh, uh, Instagram account, and we did a roast of the New York Red Bulls. So right when when we were when we went to Philadelphia, this is why we went to Philadelphia. Surprise! Uh, and we Ta-da. so we but also we got to film our yeah, we show fil- from the e the esports gaming section of the stadium. Correct. Really so dope. we were at Subaru Park uh, doing the show, and, and and shout out to Philadelphia Union. They were kind enough to let us. Uh, use the space but they were like yeah we're, we're doing this sketch uh and i think uh, it'd be great if you guys were a part of it they wanted they were playing the red bulls uh this past weekend on saturday and um they were like yo we're gonna do a roast uh we think it'll be fun can you write some jokes and we're like let's do it yeah we're happy to be a part of it you want us to be in a sketch done you want us to write to be, write roast jokes for a sketch that takes place in a comedy club <laughs> I mean, who else are you going to get, buddy? Exactly. So, um, you know, they dialed the, the bat phone or the <laughs> they called the big pizza. <laughs> I picked up my slice. <laughs> I hit the I hit uh, 001 on the pepperoni. <laughs> I just got a message from The Athletic that says MLSPA releases 2022 player salary and the highest paid player is Jordan Shakiri. Oh, uh, Sheridan. Point. Sheridan. 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 I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. Shakiri, uh, bro. Shakiri is a. a and point. his contract is paid per quad and, and calf. <laughs> 8.15 million. So that's a, all right. You just, we, we heard that live. Okay, cool. And is like, give me, give me, give me a couple <laughs> weeks, buddy. Um, so. Uh, so the Philadelphia Union, they asked us to, to do this. We start, so we wrote roast jokes. We, we wrote a bunch of jokes. Some of them are pretty crazy. Some of them are pretty wild. We also riffed a couple fun ones. Yeah, we had a, uh, and I'll say this. Uh, or did we rip a couple fun ones? <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, talking about fire throws. <laughs> <laughs> it's drive time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's Becky with the weather. <laughs> so the um, they asked us to write a bunch of jokes. And uh, so we'll, we'll give you a, a you know, behind the scenes look a little bit of, of just the, the process. We, we, we submit the jokes that we're going to say. And, and they're like, hey, these are funny. We can't use them. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it was like we... By the way, they weren't even that... We thought we were trying to like... We weren't we really were like, hitting... This is PG-13. This might be, this might be PBS. <laughs> we really weren't like smashing on the gas too nah, much. We nah. were like, look, we understand. We're, we're trying to find the edge here, but mm. we understand this <laughs> we is... We were edging. <laughs> <laughs> we were... Uh, so we were... Yeah, we we're trying to find... See what that line was. Mm. And, and clearly... Apparently, it's, we were far beyond... It's an line. official team thing, so they're not going to go insane it has to right. be like kind of fun well they even said the president you know wants to keep this a bit fun but a bit more tame than some of the jokes you've submitted right, you know, right. is there a way you can write new ones and we were like don't you dare <laughs> tell us <laughs> just this is our artistic expression how dare you I, no <laughs> i have a first amendment right is it the first amendment the right to free speech <laughs> third amendment second amendment which one whichever one it is Okay. Uh, all right. I'm just making sure there's no drop frames, and we're good. No, on no, we're good. Okay. Okay. So the uh, so they asked us um, uh, to you know tone it down a little bit, make it a little bit more tame, uh, and we we really tried our best. It's very di- so. This is the main thing, right? And how many jokes actually made it? it was, I think it was maybe three. One each. One each. One like a the the a, one full each, but then like yeah, one or two riffing, riffs. riffs and stuff like that. So they they took a piece of my joke out. So they could have that dude from TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. was great. I thought that worked. Too. No, no, it worked. I liked really it a well. lot. Yeah, and then that's this is the main thing. Working with the the union, uh, they've always been like really, really kind to us and fans, super supportive, of fans us. of the show. Yeah, uh, and, and and their staff, their their media staff, get uh, get our voice, get us. But here's what we did: we filmed a bunch of stuff, and then we walked away. And then we waited to see what they did with it. Right. So we did a bunch of what I thought were really funny jokes, really fun. Yeah, they were. And and just to be clear, like we roasted, it was like we we treated like a proper roast where we roasted the, we did roast the Red Bulls, but we also roasted the Union. We roasted NYCFC, Fang, everybody. Everybody gets it. We really made fun. I roasted the cameraman. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) it was really, really fun. I mean, like more than anything, just the the production of it, uh, super like, I mean, professional. Everybody was really, really cool. Yeah. The, the 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 people that you see in the audience of the of, of 
of the of the you know of the roast. Those are all pretty much like Philadelphia Union uh, staff, staff members, and stuff like yeah. that. But like you know, office staff. Yeah, and we were making cool them, hell. making them laugh, joking around the whole time. Even when we had to like redo some of the jokes, like they were they they, they were on board. We tried to like make it a little different and unique each time. But one Dylan said, "Var's decision needs some punch up." <laughs> <laughs> so that that's a rewrite. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like we we did the jokes that we were supposed to do. We made everyone laugh. You know, whether it was funny or not, I'm not saying oh, they were funny. I'm saying we were our job was to sit there and make people laugh. So we did that and right. then we 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 booked back to New York and then then the video comes out and it's only like one or two jokes. We shared it. We, of thought course. It was, we thought it was great. It we thought it was fun. Awesome. And here's the other thing I love. I love when a team says, Why don't we have a good time? Why don't we do something fun? There's a rivalry coming up instead of it just being like, whoa, we hate the other team. Yeah. Let's do something cool. Let's do something fun. And I thought it was a well-written sketch, right? We should have, we put it out. And then Red Bulls fans <laughs> get a chance to be Red Bulls fans. Even, even Philadelphia Union, even NYCFC, some, some, even NYCFC fans were like, they, they didn't like it either. So yeah. they, look, we got a lot of people that did enjoy it. And, and thank you for all the, all, all the kind words. But there was a, a, a fair amount of people that were like, either cringe or right. this is not funny which uh, you're gonna get it's a right, it's right. a team this wasn't written by you know all things comedy shouts to Dennis Higgins who just became who's a, a, a another member uh, I want to thank Cooligans Annual Roast I want the Cooligans Annual Roast to be a thing okay maybe yeah we'll do that maybe we'll, we'll do that throw it in the Patreon <laughs> okay mm -hmm. uh, some people are already asking they want the full video Morgan Tenzer said I need the full video please yes when we get the footage we will get the footage and, and, and share it uh, to our Patreon members so if you want uh, to to see that because I'm serious the jokes were we, we really went in on everybody yeah it like, was fun it, it was 100% fun everybody laughed even the jokes that people were like oh boy like they were like oh and then they laughed or whatever so uh, we had a, a genuinely uh, good time with it but the you know who didn't Red Bulls fans Red Bull, Red Bull I fans didn't see any anyone and NYCFC fans not like it but they <laughs> did, they never like it whenever we work with another club they hate that yeah yeah and I think maybe that was the source of it or whatever yeah. uh, but it, and it's there's fun. also some people that just don't like us <laughs> and yeah. they made that very clear yeah oh no they'll tell us to our <laughs> face and i'm like you don't have to do this you could go about your day you know okay that's fine look i don't we don't need every person in the audience to love us that's not the point right so anyway we put it out and here's the thing now one red bulls fan maybe one red bulls fan had like a fun ba like bantered us back you know yeah or said something that was kind of like there was joy in their heart at, at any point in their lives. Right. And here's my point. Why do you do this to yourselves? <laughs> there are some folks that are fans of, of Red Bull and they have zero fun. Yeah, there's no there's no sense of humor not around. Not even a sense of humor. You're yeah. not you're not enjoying any of this. Right. You're not enjoying the games. You're not enjoying what happens before the games. You're not enjoying after the games. You're not enjoying the social media. You're not enjoying the banter back and forth. You're not enjoying any of this. Right. Why? <laughs> Do you do this to yourselves? <laughs> I mean, look. why did you get into liking the sport? What's the point? I mean, look, we, we notice this in Europe a lot as well, where look, the, 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 the sport in itself is is almost not to be joked about with some people. But at least there's history there. Right, right, right. I get that. You know, what, this guy's grandfather was a cobbler, and this guy's <laughs> grandfather was a potter, and they used to stab each other before the games. You know? Okay. So now you have to I know, I know. This is my son-in-law. Whatever. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> right? And the truth was that they just wanted to love each other. You right. You know, but they couldn't because society wouldn't accept But, you know, it. shout out to, um, to Mark Fishkin of Seeing Red. The homie. The homie. He did. I, look. He is. I, I he think took. A, he took a couple lumps for for a day one old head, quote unquote old head. You know, Yo. some people, some rebel fans even don't don't like him. But he's uh, he day one for real, for real, like legitimately day one. <laughs> and um, and he is very progressive when it comes to trying to find ways to make the 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 game fun and exciting add and add a, add a little joy to we it. We have the chance here as as American soccer to not be like Europe. We don't have to. Mm -hmm. We don't have to. You know throw uh, bottles at each other. You know what I mean? We don't have to do that. <laughs> right, right. We could have a little bit of fun, have a little bit of excitement. So look, know? so but 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 this is um, you know, I, I look, I don't know how many um comedians have ever been in this American soccer space. I don't know how many want to do it after <laughs> this. 
<laughs> because look, doing a a uh, you know roasting uh, your your American soccer team is is very I think new to a lot of people. But I, I, my hope is that we normalize it. We're, yeah, we're hopefully we knock down the barrier. I just want to say, I this may have sounded like I was upset. Mm-hmm. But in no way, shape, or form, I was enjoying myself. I actually removed the laughing emoji from it. But I said, of the many miscalculations I made about American soccer when starting Soccer Cooligans, the biggest one, uh, biggest one is un- the biggest one is underestimating just how many of the fans genuinely hate fun. Right. I am shocked. I don't. I get. Look, there's. We knew that what we do wasn't for the entire audience of of soccer fans in this country. Obviously not. We're comedians. We're joking around. Not everybody wants to hear that. Some people really think Margaret Thatcher is prime minister and they really want there to be pain involved in this sport. I get it. (laughs) But I never thought there would be people who legitimately dislike having a good time. You know what I mean? Sure. sure. We're like, well, no, uh, straight, serious faces only, you know? Yeah, yeah. Everybody. You furrow your brow. Yeah, the, this is sock. Because the common um, uh, thing was, uh, look, and, and Nick Red is mentioning here, uh, says uh, responding to Thomas about saying we acknowledge the rivalry ever since the Glessness shot last year, and, and but so that was like a big comment, and that was more directed towards the Philadelphia Union. The Philadelphia Union, I, I, look, credit to them because they are they lean into the banter, like and obviously you take a big risk, right? Because you could lose a game, right? The the uh, they end ended up uh, they, they ended up tying it was a draw yeah one yeah one. yeah and a goal taken away yeah. the Red Bulls were down a man uh, people were frustrated right. that, that that's how the game ended but that's a uh, but but credit to them for look it, and it's not the approach of every MLS team to like lean into uh, to the banter but the Philadelphia Union are doing what you know the fact that they're that their front office uh, 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 you know or, and gives the the you know, the the not, not luxury, but gives them the the opportunity. Yeah, the to opportunity be, to, to be like, yo, time. let's go, let's do this, let's try to let's make a splash in. Well, in we the- talked about this. Remember when LA Galaxy released that shooting stars? Meme? Right, right. They got in trouble, and then I think the league realized, like, wait a minute, people like sharing this. Share the hell out of this. Right. So now it's obvious a thing. Now you want to have a good time. It adds more notoriety to your club. It adds more engagement to your social media channels. And really, that's all we our our stated. Uh, you know, sort of mission statement is to bring more fans into the game and to add value to the to the player, right? So when we interview a player, we're trying to show them in a light that they don't very often get to be seen, which is them having a good time and having fun. And we want to get more fans that are enjoying the game. And we think a part of that is to not, you know, have them be initiated into a gang, essentially. <laughs> uh, you know? well, is that too much to ask? I mean, it feels like it might be, to be honest with you. My favorite of all the, of all the, the shade we got, I mean, which is, by can, the way. Can you... Uh, Send me the tweet so I can. Yeah. Uh, so I can. I wanna, How do I share this with you? Uh, just text it to me. Okay. Because I, uh, so, I do. I want to. I want to show this tweet. Let's. You know. Look, we could deal with some criticism, and like, Funny. if you if you post it on Twitter, well, you will talk about it. And I by mean, the way, sometimes the criticism is right. You know, I like, criticize him all the time. This joke wasn't funny. Hey, you take it out. <laughs> Christian told me he didn't understand one of the jokes, and I'm like, "Cause you're too stupid <laughs> to understand really stupid jokes." You know? um, so let me. Uh, There's something in my water, and I don't want to go get a new cup. Okay. Um, Can I get it out? So here, uh, so here you go. So uh, here we go. So uh, well, you got to read the tweet. It, it was to you. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Is it on? It is on. By the by the way, this was I we I, I hate showing these people's personal. No, it's yeah, all good. I, they they criticize. So this is what I mean. Like yeah, I I posted this being like, damn, yo, y'all hate fun. But some people thought I was like, hey, <laughs> why don't you love me? Which is not the tone at all. I could care less. Again, my mother told my fiance not to marry me on the day of my wedding in front of me. You think <laughs> you're gonna hurt me, dude? She goes, you don't have to do this. Look at that. In English, <laughs> uh, in front of me, I was right there. I was holding her hand. You think this will hurt me? So she put this woman put. Why aren't more people appreciating my grift? Which grift is a grift? Uh, impli- I was like, man, she mistake. She misspelled gift, <laughs> <laughs> implying that that the cool that we're making money. <laughs> that, that's also <laughs> implying that we are using soccer to uh, to to you know advance our. Career, our comedy careers in some sort of way. I can't get it up. Which <laughs> is, I mean, really one of the most ridiculous statements I have ever. <laughs> Buddy, that's like saying I'm eating pizza to lose weight. 
<laughs> you know? That's like saying I'm going in reverse to go forward. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, right? There's so, obviously a lot more fans of comedy than there are. Of so soccer. it's fine. Look, if this is if this is a criticism. I, I, you know, what? I actually like hearing this stuff because it, it gives an honest, uh, 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 you know. A opinion. Right. Uh, we get to hear what they actually, what the people really think. Yeah, and by of the way, what we're doing. This doesn't bother us. If you no, don't like us, okay, cool. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not a personal no. attack. It's like whatever. You don't, you don't like what we do. I, I feel like we've made people laugh in the past. <laughs> I, and feel, I feel like it may continue. <laughs> so if you don't like it, good for you. And then uh, someone replied, and this one. I mean, this might be my mother-in-law's burner account. <laughs> this is crazy. Here. This guy put, I'm using, by the way, I guess speaking from my voice, I'm using soccer to build my, quote, comedy career. And when people don't laugh at my, quote, comedy, I'll blame them for not being fun-loving instead of accepting the fact that I'm a self-hating New Jerseyan <laughs> who doesn't have an ounce of comedic talent. <laughs> I mean, if that's your, if that's all of that, you, if, if you think I don't have an ounce of comedic talent, that's fine. I also, you see how many ounces are on this man? What are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, there's a lot of space for just a little bit of comedic talent and you've given me <laughs> no chance. But my favorite part is the self-hating New Jerseyan. That's a good one. As if I don't start every interview with another New Jerseyan asking about <laughs> a fucking pork product. <laughs> look, I mean, look, there, there's As just, if I don't tell everyone I'm fucking from North. Right. There's, there, it's just, look, it's fine. The criticism is fine, but let's let's get some. Uh, let's be accurate. Let's be factual. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I'm driving myself nuts here. <laughs> this is all I'm saying is if you're gonna call me a self-hating New Jerseyan, you got to show me proof for that. What other than the what fact New Jerseyan is not a self-hating New Jerseyan? Also, also. <laughs> find me a self-loving New Jerseyan, bro. <laughs> People smack him across the face. Bro, what are you talking you about? From? What are you from, my okay. guy? What is? What kind of, where's his confidence coming from? All right. Also, I smell the suburbs on this guy. <laughs> you ain't from Newark. You don't get to talk. Alexis hit him with the. You don't know where I'm from, dog. <laughs> I didn't hear it. You don't know where I'm from, dog. Yeah, you don't know where I'm from, dog. <laughs> okay. Bro, you ain't from Newark, my G. And also, that's a Latino name, my guy. <laughs> you throwing one of us under the bus? <laughs> you must not eat enough mofongo, <laughs> my G. Uh, you know, et tu, a Latino? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Eres tu, coño? 